this was our favorite place for 22 years to come for lunch. It's romantic, the food is wonderful, they have beautiful wines, the people are great, and we're just going to miss it. I know, we're 17 years. Uh -huh. 18. Uh -huh. <laughs> 18 for <him. laughs> Thanks for all of them. Well, thank you for it. Then. It was an emotional day at the Wine and Cheese Gallery as customers and employees shed tears over the last time the store will be open. It's been a great ride. I don't feel I'm sad because saying goodbye it makes you sad. I'm sad even saying this, but uh, what a great 42 years. And shortly after the Wine and Cheese Gallery announced it was closing, a group of employees banded together to help keep the business alive. We're just actually sitting outside here at table 15, our favorite table, having a glass of wine and just saying like how can we, what ideas can we bring to the table to make this stay open and get community support and put it out there for everyone to hear about. Catherine and Maude decided to create a kickstart campaign to help raise over $62,000 to keep the business running. And they say if they raise the money, they want to help improve the wine gallery. Modernize it in a way, make it a little bit more um, culturally friendly, um, downtown, sustainable, that kind of thing. And Bunky says he supports his employees 100% of the way. Our crew of former employees and current employees said, no, nah, no, we can't let this die. I said, all right, you guys will have first crack at the lease. Um, and we'll leave all the equipment and all the chairs and tables and all the places and see what you can do with a shot. Reporting in Gainesville, Alicia Tarancon, GTN News.